Well, Business Center's Garrett Glazer has more on a very attractive story. Garrett? I think it's a really cool story. Watch this. She jousts, rides two Harleys, and collects beautiful antique clothing. Sandy Lerner is not typical, that's for sure, but this 42-year-old millionaire is more than a fascinating eccentric. She is a socially committed powerhouse. Who is Sandy Lerner, and why is she painting my arm? It'll all become clear shortly. We visited Sandy Lerner the other day at the 800-acre Virginia farm she calls home. There are houses as well in Northern California, Los Angeles, and Great Britain. But it's here, close to the animals she loves so much, that this very wealthy woman wants to live her life. I mean, is there a limit to how, you know, how much you want to be on the land? No way. No, if I never left, it would be too soon. Along with Leonard Bosack, the husband from whom she's now amicably separated, Lerner founded computer giant Cisco Systems in 1984. Six years later, after being pushed out by a new CEO brought in by their venture capital partners, Sandy Lerner left, followed by her partner. They cashed in their stock, by this time worth $170 million. They formed a foundation and other charitable endowments into which 70% of their new fortune has been turned over. They now bankroll a variety of charities, about a third related to animals. Why are animals and their welfare so important to you? I have yet to meet a rich and powerful animal. You know, they don't vote and they don't talk. They're such a part of our life and we, we use them, we eat them, we make money from them, we exploit them. Um, you know, somebody, somebody needs to, to watch out for them. There are more than a dozen structures here, including five houses and four stables. Plenty of animals, too. The main house has 40 rooms, including 18 bedrooms and nine baths. The furnace burns 16 gallons of oil each hour. So we're going to put a big sort of southern portico across the top with four beautiful columns. I think it'll look, look very nice. Lerner is restoring and renovating at a cost of millions, right down to the vintage country tableaus featuring cats instead of people. Let's talk about the Cisco years. How would you characterize your departure from Cisco? Tense. And I think I was very frustrated. Um, Len was as frustrated, but probably kind of quieter about it. And, you know, the venture people were into building a much bigger business. We were into building the best networking computer that you could, that you could build, and those are not the same. How do you deal with money? I mean, you have a lot of money. How do you deal with it? I just made a very conscious decision not to let it ruin my life. I think money's a good tool, and I also think it's a drug. Maybe, but without it, you can't buy things here. Bloomingdale's Cosmetics Department on Manhattan's east side. It's here Sandy Lerner has come this day to open the latest branch of her three-year-old cosmetics concern called Urban Decay. What are your names? Jackie. I'm Karen. What are you doing? Getting I'm, tattoos. Having a little fun. My fiance's out of town, so <laughs> it'll probably be gone by the time he gets back. Already in Tony locations like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, and in London at Harvey Nichols, the line features eyeshadows, lipsticks, nail polish, and more. I hate pink. My skin is not pink. There was nothing about me that was pink. Which may explain the colors and the names. Rat, roach, smog, mildew, pigeon, soot. You get the idea. I think it's a very liberating thing, you know, when you put it on and you feel like you've taken a real leap out of yourself. And we've had older women getting tattoos. It's just so great. Urban Decay is expected to gross $12 million this year. Steady growth seems likely. Sandy says her goal is to challenge herself, to take on the tasks she's afraid of. She remains true to her convictions and successful in their realization. Do you consider yourself a businesswoman? Absolutely. I'm just not a very conventional businesswoman. Well, there's another cause important to Sandy Lerner, early English women writers and the scholars who study them. She recently purchased a 400-year-old English manor, and when the restoration is through, her 7,000-volume collection of early works by women writers will be housed there. Maria Tyler. Such an interesting story. Isn't she? She's think, an interesting lady. Uh, do you think Maria should try some soot tomorrow? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't I, say I, that. I might just call your bluff. I dare you. You look great. <laughs> I dare you. Don't change it. All right. Good.